So we've got a lot to talk about in this hour. We start off, though, visiting with uh, one of the candidates running for uh, county commissioner in Precinct 1, Jerry Russell. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate it being here. Absolutely. Uh, tell folks a, a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm pro-God, pro-Constitution, pro-life, and pro-gun. I've been living in Lubbock County since 1973, Precinct 1 to be exact, and basically it's uh, I just didn't like the idea of the county commissioners blindsiding us with their pay increase and stuff like that. And that, that's something that uh, obviously um, uh, I think should uh, be be an issue uh, in, in this race and in all the other uh, races out there in future yes, sir. Uh, future races. Uh why did is that the main reason you decided to run was uh, the the pay increase? I've yes, that's one of them. The other reason is that uh, let lack of transparency in the commissioner's court. What I would like to do when I'm a, am elected for county commissioner precinct one would be to move the eve, meetings to the evening so people that actually work for a living can show up and attend and voice their opinion about it. I personally. Being a county commissioner, I will not raise my pay. I already know what the base pay is. It's not good. Matter of fact, I don't have a problem with reducing my pay. Uh, I'm not going to raise taxes because that's just more money out of your pocket, Jody's pocket, everybody else's pocket. And, of course, my other main concern is roads. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and is I think that's something that for those out in the county, uh, after the uh, snowstorm that we uh, that we saw a couple of weeks ago, uh, another concern, top concern for folks out there. Yes, sir. And uh, the fact that, uh, well, my personal experience with the last blizzard was that I could not leave the house for 20 days. I missed my truck. <laughs> <clears throat> but I also, I'm also more concerned with my neighbors to the south of me who both both of the have heart conditions. Mm-hmm. So there is no way anybody could medical assistance could get to them, uh, even with four wheel drive vehicles. So they would probably have to have aero care come and pick them up, which mm-hmm. is bad for rotors anyway. So, yes, the again, transparency and for the commissioner's court, they need to move the meetings to the evening. I will not raise my pay. I will take a pay reduction. The taxes, I will not vote to increase taxes. And, again, the county roads, they need to be taken care of because I have no idea where their road and bridge fee money is going to. Is is that something that you've taken to the commissioners before and, and talked to them about uh, as far as road conditions go and even moving to nighttime meetings? And if so, what is, what's their reaction been? The reaction has been basically nothing. And it just annoys me, annoys me big time. So uh, anybody want to get in touch with me, they can – contact me by my cell phone which is 806-577-3224 i don't always hear the phone so if you wouldn't want to leave me a text message please do if i'm a cheat sheet here <laughs> or they can email me at jerry russell r-u-s-s-e-l-l 806 at gmail.com and or you can send Write me a letter. Address is 4202 County Road, or CR is fine, 1300 Lubbock, Texas, 79407. One issue that has come up uh, before the uh, the commissioners, and, and an issue I think that is a growing concern, especially out in the county, uh, is the issue of drugs, uh, the issue of uh, even uh, drug cartels that we have seen uh, come up and, and work their way uh, onto the South Plains and uh, in the Lubbock area. Obviously, the sheriff has uh, requested uh, extra funding, and the county commissioners went along with that. Uh, going into the future, uh, what do you think the the county commissioner's role will be uh, in combating uh, the spread of drugs, the increase of drug use uh, in the county, and the increase of drug cartels in the county? Better enforcement. Is that through more funding of the, of the sheriff's department? If necessary, yes. When do you when when do you draw when when do you say there needs to be more funding? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Right offhand, I don't have an answer for you at this time. But I had thought about it. I, I mean, I listened to Sheriff Kelly Rowe about uh, the drug issues and everything else like that, but. I'm kind of also looking at it to the point, let's say, you're out in the county, you see some suspicious activity, 
It has to start with the citizens out there who need to call in the authorities to let them know what's going on in their area. And as far as added funding is concerned, yes, to a point. I mean, you you can always I'm, I'm what if it comes I'm, to a point because you you mentioned earlier no increase in in taxes. What if there needs to be a tax increase to help yeah. fund the sheriff's department? Uh, I'm a realist. They're not going to have to. They can't count on what money they confiscate or the property they can cons- confiscate for sales and stuff like that. I would still be honest with you. Still say no tax increases. So they'll have to find funding somewhere else. Uh, the question is, is the S. Lubbock Sheriff's Office, are they collecting any federal funds? Are they? If so, then that could be directed to it. Go from there. Do you think that right now uh, with the county courthouse, uh, something that has been uh, an annoyance, I think, to some out there has been the security, the security <laughs> uh, and the, the fact that you know, you have metal detectors up. Uh, recently, sheriff said uh, no open care. I don't know if anyone would want to open carry at the courthouse, but are, are those any concerns of yours? I don't like being pat down, searched. Uh, I heard arguments earlier on uh, when they actually had it set up that judges were complaining about, you know, lack of security. You don't know if somebody's going to walk in. When was the last time somebody had been to the county courthouse? Look at all the armed officers running around. Mm. And the judges themselves can be armed. They can have a shotgun under the bench if they wanted to. It's up to them. So as far as the security and county courthouse, I don't like it at all. Do you think that if, and you mentioned moving to uh, night meetings, do you think that would increase participation uh, and, and the county government if people, uh, if meetings were moved to the nighttime? Yes, sir. What... Uh, you know, as far as response from county commissioners on this, they say, nah, we, we, we wouldn't see that many people uh, turn out. It would just increase the length of meetings. We've got employees that would have to be here. You buy any of that or you say, hey, bite the bullet and do it anyway? It's the same argument I heard about the city council. Right. It's the same argument. And look at now that they have the meetings at night or in the evening, look how many more participants showed up. It's the same old argument. It's no different than everybody arguing about gun control. So, yeah, more participation will show up just for the fact that they're off work. Right. Jerry Russell, a Republican uh, candidate for county commissioner in Precinct 1. One more time, uh, tell folks how they can get in touch with you. They can get in touch with me by 806-577-3224. They can email me at uh, Jerry Russell, R-U-S-S-E-L-L, 806 at gmail.com, or they can use the old postal service and 4202 County Road 1300 79407. All right, Jerry Russell, candidate for uh, County Commissioner, Precinct 1. Appreciate your time today. Thank you, Chad, for having me on.